with our first speaker, which is going to be Mary Ann Adams, and I'm going to read you her introduction. She has been a part of Toastmasters for the past year and almost two years, I believe. Yes, and it's been really a fun experience as the Toastmaster group to just watch her and be a part of her development. She does has speaking is speaking. <laughs> She's spoken internationally, and we've been a part of her progression in developing her message. Today, she heard title for her speech is Clean It Up and Throw It Out. It's a five to seven minute speech. Steve, let's welcome up Mary Ann Adams. Relationships are very dear to my heart. My relationship with my husband, my family, my friends. And that includes every single one of you. Because you're my friends. You might have heard the quote, treat your friends like family, and your family like friends. That's very simple, yet deeply profound. Six years ago, I married my best friend. And in that day, my family doubled, even quadrupled, between his adult children, my adult children, my family started from three kids and grew to six kids in one day, with 12 kids as a bonus, or 12 grandkids as a bonus. What I really liked about my family is the comity that we have for each other. It seems like we have this Brady Bunch family grown up. It's all going well. We have more birthdays, great laughter, and lots of fun, until one day, everything fell apart. At least in my heart, everything fell apart. There was something that happened. Somebody said something. Somebody got their feelings hurt, and my heart was right in the middle. Hurt turned to anger, and anger turned to rage, and rage turned to resentment. Now, let's just stop right We've all been in relationships with family and friends. How many of you have felt anger or pain in your relationships? How many today would like to learn how to turn that anger into love and gratitude? Raise your hand and say yes. 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 <clears throat> okay, the way that we do this, it's a very simple technique. When I realized that my heart was being encroached upon with this raging monster. I didn't want my relationships to be eroded. And this is wisdom for you. When your heart has this raging monster of anger or pain rolling around in there, there's no room for happiness. There's no room for gratitude. And there's no room for love. So the way I learned how to get this anger out of me, I took this anger that was rolling around in me and turned it into a relationship technique, something that I would like to teach you today. Wherever you're at in your relationships, this can benefit your life. Wherever there's chaos, you clean it up and throw it out. When your heart is in chaos, clean it up and throw it out. This works for any relationships. Works with your family, your friends, your business associates. It even works for neighbors. Take the chaos, clean it up and throw it out. You start with a garage or a closet or even your backyard. You clean it up and you throw it out. Imagine with me that very first day I learned how to do this technique. I was raging with this furious anger. 
and I go into my garage and there is chaos there. It's mirrored in my heart, this chaos. And I am pulling out everything in my garage with great anger, the shovels, the rakes, and I'm putting them out in my driveway. Grr! How dare this happen to me? And I pull out the hose with resentment, hissing in fury. I can't believe they are doing this to me. And I'm pulling everything out, and I'm just letting it go onto the driveway, dumping it until everything in that garage is empty. There's not one more corner left of anything. No more chaos. No more anger in the corner. No more contempt lurking in the shadows. It's empty. And my heart feels relieved and empty. It's clean. It is swept. Nothing there. Then at that moment, I start picking up just the things that I want to put back into my garage. Just the things I want to put back into my heart. And so I pick up the rigs and the tools. And as I grab an item, I imagine someone in my family as if they're here. Marissa, I love you. And I whisper words of kindness as I put that item carefully on the shelves. Pick up another item. Courtney, Lindsay, Jill, Jan, Chad, I love you. And all of a sudden, my heart is filled with such love and kindness towards these. The anger has disappeared. It's all neat and clean and organized. Now when I drive into my garage, I have already role played it. I can imagine all of my family members there. It's clean, it's organized, and there's my family. And what you ask, perhaps, what about all that garbage out left over? Because I didn't bring it all back in. What did you, what do you do with all that garbage out there? Well, I say, beast, be gone. <laughs> and I throw it out. This is how you can bring joy back into your heart. Clean it out, throw it out. You can enjoy your life, enjoy the very presence of your family, and bring that joy back into your relationships. Thank you. Mm -hmm.